Today we'll be making green peppercorn sauce without cream. For this recipe, you'll need raw unsalted cashews, shallots, garlic, jarred green peppercorns, brandy, flour, vegetable stock, miso paste, and sherry vinegar. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie, this is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. The first step is making the cashew cream, which is the same process that I use in a few different recipes. All you need to do is add some soaked cashews to a blender with some cold water. You can soak the cashews overnight, but also soaking them in boiling hot water for an hour works just as well to soften them adequately. Blend the cashews on high for a few minutes, stopping to scrape down the sides until everything is creamy and lump-free. This cream substitute can be used in a lot of different applications, so I did make a bit extra when filming this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like getting ahead too. Now it's time to assemble your sauce, which comes together very quickly. So in a large skillet, add some olive oil and heat over medium heat until shimmering. Then add in some finely minced shallot and a bit of garlic along with a very generous pinch of salt. Cook until softened, only about two minutes. If you're making this sauce for steaks, go ahead and assemble the sauce in the same pan you seared your steaks in. It will cook in the time your steaks are resting. You don't, however, need to have fond in your pan to make an excellent sauce. Now add your green peppercorns and stir to combine. Then remove the pan from the heat and pour over some brandy. It's an important safety precaution when cooking with relatively high alcohol content spirits to ensure that there isn't a direct heat source underneath the pan to avoid flare-ups. Return the pan to the heat and allow the brandy to reduce vigorously for a minute or two. You will notice the alcohol smell cook off in this time. Next, dust a small amount of flour over the shallot and brandy mixture. This will help thicken the peppercorn sauce so it coats everything beautifully when you pour it on. Then whisking constantly, slowly pour in some vegetable stock or use beef stock if you're not concerned about keeping those vegetarian. Once the stock is incorporated, whisk in a couple of tablespoons of cashew cream. Then whisk in a bit of miso paste. Especially if you're making a vegan sauce, this will add a meatiness and umami that works beautifully in the finished product. Bring everything to a simmer and allow it to bubble for a few minutes until the sauce is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon. Then whisk in a bit of sherry vinegar to brighten the flavor slightly. Once you've reached this stage, serve your sauce immediately. If you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!